Hi everyone, welcome to the East Ed Corner and welcome to our tutorial about determining the equation of a quadratic function using the table of values. Ito ang given a table of values and we are going to determine the equation of the quadratic function. Gagamitin natin ang general form ng quadratic function which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Hahanapin natin ang coefficients a, b, and c. So, ang gagawin natin is kukuha tayo ng tatlong ordered pairs or points dito sa ating given table of values. For example, ang pinili natin ay 0, negative 5, 1, negative 1, at saka 2, 5. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin na points para malaman natin yung coefficients a, b, and c na gagamitin natin sa general form ng quadratic function. At gagamitin rin natin ang pattern na ito para makabuo tayo ng tatlong equations. So una, gagamitin natin yung point na 0, negative 5 at ipapalit natin yung values ng x and y dito sa ating given pattern. First equation. Ang first equation natin ay negative 5 is equal to the square of 0 times a plus the product of b and 0 plus c. So saan nakuha? Paano tayo nagkaroon ng ganitong equation? Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, ginamit natin yung general form ng quadratic function. So, yung y, pinalitan natin ng negative 5. Kasi ang y dito sa unang point natin ay negative 5. And ang x naman dito ay 0. So, yung 0, ipapalit natin sa variable na x. So, negative 5, yung y, is equal to a times the square of x kanina, papalitan natin yung x ng 0, plus the product of b and x. So, yung x, papalitan ulit ng 0, plus c. So, ito yung ating unang equation. Para sa pangalawang equation, gagamitin natin ang point na 1, negative 1. Ang x dito ay 1, at ang y naman ay negative 1. Our equation 2 is negative 1, is equal to a times the square of 1 plus the product of b and 1 plus c. Yung negative 1 ay nanggaling dito sa y ng ating ordered pair or point na ito. Yung 1 ay x dito sa ating ordered pair. So ipapalit natin yung 1 na yan sa mga variable na x. Kaya nagkaroon tayo dito ng the square of 1 tapos yung 1 na imumultiply sa b. And last, we have our third equation using the point 2, 5. Ang x ay 2, ang y ay 5. Ipapalit natin yung mga yan dito sa ating general form. So, magiging 5, yung y naging 5, is equal to a times the square of x. Yung x natin ay positive 2. Okay? Plus the product of b and x, yung x natin again, that is 2, plus C. So, mayroon na tayong tatlong equations. And gagamitin natin ang mga equations na ito to find the coefficients A, B, and C. Let's proceed. So, ilagay natin yung mga nakuha nating equations kanina. Equation number 1 hanggang equation number 3. Okay? So, ito yung mga nakuha natin kanina. Ang gagawin natin is isi-simplify natin itong mga ito. Dito muna tayo sa equation number 1. Kapag sinimplify natin yan, ito yung magiging bagong form. Negative 5 is equal to C. Paano naging negative 5 is equal to C? So, kopyahin lang natin yung negative 5. And then, simplify natin ito. 0 squared that is 0 times sa A. So, 0 na siya. And then, 0 times B that is 0 also. Kaya, ang matitira dito ay yung C. So, ito na yung naging form mula doon sa ating equation number 1. Nagkaroon tayo ng value ng C. Next, yung equation number 2. Simplify natin ang magiging form ng ating equation number 2 ay negative 1 is equal to a plus b plus c. So, bakit naging ganito ang kanyang equation? So, kopyahin lang natin ulit si negative 1. And then, simplify natin 1 squared that is 1 times a. So, we have a. Next, we have 1 times positive b. Answer is positive b. Tapos, kopyahin lang natin yung c. So, we have negative 1 is equal to a plus b plus c. Ang pangatlong equation naman, kapag sinimplify, ito ang magiging form. 5 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. 
Okay? Sinimplify natin yan. Copyhin yung 5 is equal to the square of 2 is 4 times A. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 4A. Tapos 2 times positive B. Answer is positive 2B. And then copyhin lang yung positive C. So, ito na yung nabuong equation mula sa equation number 3 nung isinimplify natin ito. Ngayon, kuhanin natin yung C which is equal to negative 5 na nanggaling sa equation number 1. Gagamitin natin yan pang substitute. Mamili tayo ngayon kung anong equation ang gagamitin natin. Equation number 2 ba or equation number 3? Pwede kahit ano. So, piliin natin halimbawa yung equation number 2. So, sa equation number 2, we have the simplified form which is negative 1 is equal to a plus b plus c. Yung c, papalitan natin ng negative 5. Okay? So, ito na siya. Magiging negative 1 is equal to a plus b plus negative 5. Again, yung c, papalitan natin siya ng negative 5. Kaya meron tayo ditong negative 5. Simplify natin yan. Magiging negative 1 is equal to a plus b positive times negative 5, we have negative 5. Okay, so now you decide kung anong variable ang iyong isosolve. You may solve for A or you may solve for B. So, sabihin na natin we're going to solve for A. So, ang gagawin natin, kailangan maalis or ma-eliminate natin yung positive B at saka negative 5 dito sa side na ito. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative B at positive 5. Additive inverse, okay? Para ma-eliminate natin si positive B and negative 5. So, ito na, mag-add tayo both sides. So, positive B minus B, that is 0, negative 5 plus 5, 0 na din yan. Okay? And sa kabilang side, syempre, mag-a-add tayo ng ini-add natin dito sa right side, which is positive 5 minus B. Simplify. So, 4 minus B is equal to A. So, paano nangyari yon? Negative 1 plus 5, that is positive 4, minus B is equal to A. So, maaari natin niyang gawing A is equal to 4 minus B using the symmetric property. So, pareho lang yan. Okay? Pareho lang ang ating equation na 4 minus B equals A at saka A is equal to 4 minus B. Now, let's proceed with our next step. So, remember na may nakuha tayo kaninang value ng C which is negative 5. And then, sa second equation, nagkaroon tayo ng A is equal to 4 minus B. Then, dun sa third equation natin, mayroon tayong 5 is equal to 4A plus 2B plus C. Now, itong third equation naman ang gagamitan natin ng substitution. Since nakakuha tayo ng value ng C, which is negative 5, at yung A naman ay equal to 4 minus B, gagamitin natin ang mga ito para masolve natin yung B sa third equation. So, paano? Ito ang ating gagawin. Kopyahin muna natin yung ating equation, number 3, and then substitute na natin yung C at saka yung A. So, tignan mabuti. Kopyahin muna yung 5 is equal to yung 4 times A kanina, naging 4 times the quantity 4 minus B. So, saan ang galing yung 4 minus B? Ito yung value ni A. Sabi natin, A is equal to 4 minus B. Kaya, papalitan natin yung A dito sa equation na ito ng 4 minus B. Okay? Plus 2B. Okay? Kukopyahin lang natin itong nasa equation na 2B. Plus negative 5. Saan ang galing yung negative 5? Yung C, pinalitan natin ng value ng C which is negative 5. Okay? So, ito na ang ating naging equation. 5 is equal to 4 times the quantity 4 minus B plus 2B plus negative 5. Kung mapapansin natin, iisa na lang yung ating naging variable dito sa equation which is B. Kasi ang target natin is isolve yung B. Simplify natin ang ating equation. Magiging 5 is equal to 4 times 4, that's 16. 4 times negative B, that is negative 4B. Plus 2B, kopya lang ito. And then positive times negative 5, that is negative 5. Simplify, combine like terms. So, i-combine natin si 4, negative 4B plus 2B. Magiging 5 is equal to 16. Minus 2B, sinimplify natin, negative 4B plus 2B, that's negative 2B. Kopya lang si negative 5. Next, isimplify muna natin itong 16 minus 5. 
16 minus 5, that is 11. And then, kopyahin si negative 2B. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is kailangan maiwan muna yung negative 2B dito sa right side. Gumamit tayo ng addition property of equality. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 11. Okay? Para ma-eliminate natin si positive 11. So, 11 minus 11, that is 0. And then, mag-add din tayo sa kabila, syempre, ng negative 11. Simplify. So, this is 11 minus 11, 0, may iwan si negative 2B. And then, 5 minus 6, that is negative 6. Now, mag-divide tayo both sides ng negative 2. Or, you may multiply both sides by negative 1 half. So, ito ang ating gagawin. Mag-divide tayo both sides ng negative 2 para bina lamang yung may iwan sa isang side. So, negative 2 divided by negative 2, that is positive 1. So, bina lamang yung may iwan sa right side. And then, negative 6 divided by negative 2, that is positive 3. Okay? So, gumamit tayo ng symmetric property ulit. B is equal to positive 3. So, kung mapapansin natin, mayroon na tayong value ng B, which is 3 at value ng C, which is negative 5. Anong variable na lang ang walang value pa? That is coefficient A. Tama. Ang gagawin natin ay isa-substitute natin ngayon yung nakuha nating B dito sa equation number 2. Substitution, magiging A is equal to 4 minus yung B natin, which is 3. Ipapalit lang natin yan. Simplify. A is equal to 4 minus 3, therefore A is equal to positive 1. Now, mayroon na tayong coefficients A, B, and C. Mag-proceed na tayo sa ating next step. We have A is equal to 1, B is equal to 3, and C is equal to negative 5. Gamitin natin yung general form. Ipapalit lamang natin ang nakuha nating coefficients dito sa ating general form ng quadratic function. Y is equal to x squared since ang a natin ay 1 o hindi ko na isusulat yung 1. Okay, so x squared na lamang plus bx, yung b ay 3, so magiging 3x plus yung c natin which is negative 5 plus negative 5. Simplify. Ang ating quadratic function ay y is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 5. So sinimplify natin, positive times negative 5, that is negative 5. So, there you have it. Nakabuo na tayo ng quadratic function mula sa ating table of values. That's all for our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.